the food in your refrigerator past the expiration date? Well, it turns out the packaging labels can be pretty misleading and confusing, making it hard to know exactly what's safe and what isn't to eat. Diane Hendricks is a registered dietitian and a culinary nutritionist, and she joins us this morning. Nice to see you, Diane. Great Welcome back to, to the show. Again. <laughs> so the labels can be a little bit misleading. We're throwing away way too much food? I think so. I think the expiration dates are voluntary um, dates that the stores put on more for quality, not for safety. So when you see that expiration date, don't just toss the food because some foods can be eaten after the expiration date. So it's a great way to save, save uh, yeah, money save a lot and of save cash. food. Yeah, and, and if it's some of your favorite foods, you want to eat it. That's Absolutely. why you bought it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, first up, let's talk about milk and meats. Okay. So um, meats, I you want to cook them or freeze them within two to three days of bringing them home. I mean, they're really the ones that, meats are really the things that can make you sick if you eat them after the expiration date. When it comes to milk, you got five days, at least five days after the expiration date, once it's been opened. Um, yogurt, you can, once yogurt is opened, you have about a week. And, you know, I literally have opened an uh, unopened can, uh, container of yogurt a month after, and it's fine. And what if you see mold growing in it? Can you just pick the mold out and eat around it? <laughs> well, Serious question. <laughs> well, that's a great question, and that means that the bacteria are starting to be killed off. So your, your best bet is to kind of toss it. You really don't want to pick around any mold in cheese or dairy products. Just get rid of it. There, what about eggs? This eggs. is surprising. Eggs, oh my gosh, you've got like weeks uh, with eggs after the expiration date. And there's a really cool test you can do. If you drop an egg into uh, water and it sinks, uh -huh. then it's good. But if it floats, then it's not then it's not good because the they're porous and the gases are starting to get into the shell of the egg. So if you drop an egg into uh, water and it floats, it's not good. So throw it out. Tucker changed my life recently. Okay. By <laughs> cheeses. He was saying, don't refrigerate these cheeses anymore. Keep them out. Keep them in a cheese bag, and they taste so fantastic. How long can we keep cheeses before they go bad? Well, hard cheeses like uh, Parmesan and Romano, you've got weeks um, for hard cheeses. It's the soft cheeses like the brie and the camembert that once you open them, you want to use them with in a couple of days. No, he, so you, Tucker's had a block of cheese for four years that he's been working on and eating. <laughs> he, had, he pulled out a block of cheese in his pocket this morning. <laughs> My mother-in-law is Dutch, and they don't refrigerate their cheese at all. I mean, they leave their cheese out. So, I mean, you know, you, the hard cheeses you have a really long time. Enough, your nose, your eyes, and your taste are really a good determination. Let's so. dig down here. What about the okay. freezer burn on the freezer stuff? Well, when it comes to frozen stuff, it's really all about quality. It's not about safety. I mean, freezer burn, we've all heard of freezer burn. You just eat You'll know when you take it out when it smells like freezer burn or if it doesn't smell well. But, you know, uh, frozen products really can last relatively indefinitely. Through, yeah, through the Armageddon. Yeah. How about these, these, these dry products here? Bottom Cereals line, and pasta. Stale. Crunch, if they're not crunchy, they're stale. They can last a very, very long time in an airtight container. So, again, it's your taste and your smell. So then just toss it if it's it's smells or it's stale. And finally, baguettes. Uh, bread products. <laughs> I broke that one. <laughs> yeah. Is it stale? Um, it's, no, it's not stale, but the, the key with bread products is while they're still soft, if you're not going to use them, freeze them. Bread freeze is great. You can pop it right out of your, right out of your uh, freezer. Okay. And the other thing is canned goods. I mean, acidic foods like uh, tomatoes and pineapples, they may not last as long. You've got years in canned goods. So you just want to, uh, you know, check and make sure the lids aren't popping or anything. I mean, it's why you, when you ever see the zombie apocalypse movies, they're always eating the canned foods. They last forever. That's it. My, I remember right. when I was growing up, my mother had a bunch of canned goods in the cellar. It was like, you know, when are we going to use them, you know? Yeah. Does. But you've got a lot of time. Diane Hendricks, uh, thank you. And thanks for Maytag for bringing in a refrigerator this morning. We, can we keep this on the set? Oh, wait, and stocks, too. Food away. Stock. That's the fresh yogurt and Tucker, eggs we're going to have this ready everything. to go so we have breakfast here every morning.